Hi, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. And this week we're reflecting on a passage from 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. It's the story of young Samuel receiving a call from God. And young Samuel is anxiously trying to figure out what it is. Oh. Yes, hello? Uh-huh. Really? Yes. No, I would be honored to do that. Yes. Thank you. You know, if only it were that simple, that God would call us, and it would be a matter of us just picking up the phone and listening for what it is that God is calling us to do. For young Samuel, he was a bit confused at first. He didn't quite recognize that it was God calling him. And then he thought perhaps that God wouldn't call upon him, a young boy. But we are reminded in this story that God can call on us regardless of age, gender, background, whatever it may be, that God has a task, God has a job, God has a mission and a purpose for each and every one of us. The challenge may be too that we may not hear God's call or we may confuse it with something else. We may be listening to other things around us and not realize that in the midst of that, God is calling to us. We may be too busy. We may have our headphones on in a spiritual sense, blocking out all that God is asking us to do, that we're too busy listening to what it is we want to listen to, to hear the messages we want to hear that confirms our ideas, our beliefs, rather than listening for what it is that God is calling us to do what it is that God wants us to be focused on. So let us make a point to spend time quietly listening and reflecting so that we might hear the voice of God calling to us, so that we might listen and respond. God is calling. Are you going to listen? Are you going to answer the call? My hope and challenge for you is that you answer that call and get busy doing God's work.